Hello all, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Monday, June 11th. This is for all signs. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so whenever it resonates, may not resonate at all. We'll see what happens. The Empress reversed, okay? So some of you are maybe going through um, a rough patch. You may be stuck. You may be feeling less than worthy or not good enough about yourself. You could feel you may be too much in your head, not using your heart, not realizing the, the truth of a situation. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles reversed, the Three of Swords. The moon and the magician reversed. It's like there's something, there's something, uh, there's some hidden forces here. Okay, so whatever is happening is bringing you closer to where you need to be, but it's like in the meantime, it's stalling you. Okay, it's like you're stalled, you are halted. Um, there's no growth where you're at. You're probably feeling like you're going through some sort of rough patch. Um, and it hurts. There's some kind of hurt that is going on, suffering. And I know that we've had a similar message recently, but there's a reason for it. There's a reason for this suffering because there's, there's something going on behind the scenes. Something is working out behind the scenes, and you may have to work through this rough patch to get to the other side. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there is um, somebody has been unable to change. They've been unable to find the resources within them to make a change or to do something about it, do something about a certain situation. They have been unable to take action. They've been um, completely... Um, oh, what's the word for it? complacent, you know, uh, unwilling, I've been unwilling to see the truth that, that the, that I have the resources within me to make a change, but I, I pretend that I don't have them. You know what I mean? It's like a mask. I feel like somebody is trying to, um, get out of doing their own work. Okay. But the fact of the matter is you're going to continue to suffer until you do do the own work, until you do your work. Okay. So it feels as though there is some sort of deception that is your own. You're deceiving yourself by living in this place of lack. You are, you are, you are allowing the lack. You are allowing it by not um, loving yourself enough to take action to find those resources to change whatever needs to be changed. It's like somebody has not planned. They don't want to plan. They don't even want to work at it. I don't want to do the work. I'd like you to do the work for me, please. Please. If you could just do the work for me, that would be great because I don't really want to do the work. Okay. So it feels as though there is some sort of um, hidden force here that is, 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 is causing you to feel this pain so that you will take action because you haven't been taking action. So something is, is kind of forcing you behind, in, behind the scenes to, to get moving, to make a plan, to do something about it. And, you know, and if, it's the only way that people typically will do something about it is to feel pain, is to suffer. When you feel that pain, when you feel that suffering, it usually triggers a response. So that's what gets you to respond. Usually pain 
really gets a response out of you. So I feel like this pain, whatever it is, the Three of Swords is right in the middle here. Whatever it is that you're going through, whatever hurt, heartache, pain, suffering, whatever it is, is happening to get you moving. So that's pretty interesting. Um... It's kind of selfish with the three, uh, I mean, with the Empress reverse. Somebody is being selfish, not wanting to put in any effort. I'd like you to do it for me, please. Please. Somebody is being selfish. Um, we have the Six of Wands reverse. There's a lack of confidence, a lack of self-esteem, a lack of self-respect here. You're not making progress, therefore you're continuing to suffer. So if... You know, you have to take action. You have to do the right thing. The Queen of Swords reversed. The Seven of Swords reversed. The Ace of Pentacles reversed. And the world. Yeah, this is about learning a serious lesson. There's a lesson to be learned from all this suffering. And that's what's happening. You're being taught a hard lesson through hurt. And, you know, this, this has to do with looking at life from a new perspective. The Queen of Swords reversed, refusing to see what really needs to be done, staying stuck in your own mind, staying stuck where you're at because you don't have the, the um, devotion to f follow through on any plans that you make or to even make any plans. It says, and you're really, like I said, you're, somebody was wearing a mask. They're masking it, masking their hurt by being complacent, you know. But the fact of the matter is, is, is you are doing yourself a serious um, injustice by not finding the resources within you to take action, by not being willing to change. Somebody hasn't been willing. They've been super stubborn and not putting in effort into honoring their own path, honoring their own soul. And I'm sorry to say this, but that is what's going on. There's no new opportunity until you take action. Okay, there's no security. The Ace of Pentacles reverse. There's no new career. There's no new job. There's no new benefits from staying where you're at. You have to take action. And this is a lesson. The world card is the last card in the deck. It's a lesson that needs to be learned to find your strength to prevail, you know, to find whatever it takes inside you to to move forward, to be willing to shed your old ways, to change. But somebody just hasn't even tried. I just, they haven't. They've been waiting for somebody to come in and do it for them. Um, let me just get this fixed up. But the fact of the matter is, is that if you let... Um, If you let yourself be held back, you will be, okay? You have to look at things from a new perspective. Somebody is, is angry, angry with the world, angry with the world, angry with their past, angry with themselves. This is the anger here. And, they're, and what they're doing is they are um, they're cheating themselves from a new beginning, from security, from stability, from anything good coming in by by letting them by staying in this suffering when all they have to do is take steps to to change and somebody has it they've been refusing refusing and it's and it's a lack of self respect respect and self-worth it is both of these cards right here there's a lack of self-worth here lack of self-confidence okay somebody needs to find that confidence to look at this from a new perspective. And when I say new perspective, I mean, yeah, some some piece of some something has happened. Some shit has happened. Something very harsh, okay? Some something is going on. It's a rough patch. There's a rough patch going on in your life right now. And you have the power to change it. You do, but you're not. You're not using the power. The magician is reversed. You're not manifesting change. You're not taking action. It's like you're not willing to. If you aren't willing, then you're in trouble. Okay? You have to be willing 
to step into the light. You have to be willing to make changes. You have to be willing to grow. And somebody has not been willing to grow. And seriously, these two are mirroring each other. The magician reversed is mirroring the empress reversed. Somebody has not been willing to let growth happen. They've been choosing to stay in a period of suffering. That's your choice, okay? What's going on here is that there is a lesson that is being learned that is probably, it's forcing you to stop deceiving yourself. You are, you're deceiving yourself. I mean, the truth is coming out now. You're suffering. It's your own fault. It is. It is your own fault. The stuff that is happening now, the cycle that you're in, the moon is cycles, whatever is happening now is meant to happen to force growth. Okay? That's what's happening. But you're fighting it. Somebody is absolutely fighting the growth. And it feels as though they're fighting it because they don't have confidence in this growth. They don't have confidence in themselves. They don't know. They're, they're, they're letting fear hold them back from moving forward. Fear of the unknown, okay? Because that's what the moon card is, fear of the unknown. But the fact of the matter is, this is all happening for a reason. All the changes, this rough patch that you're going through is trying to push growth onto you, okay? And you can only resist it for so long. Eventually, you're not going to be able to resist it anymore and, and it's going to come out. You're going to get caught in the mess. You are caught in the mess right now and it's going to come to the forefront. No matter what, it's going to come to the forefront. It's going to boil over. It's going to happen. You're going to have to face it, whatever this is. It is going to happen. The truth is absolutely going to come out that it is. Somebody is going to get caught um, using their suffering as a a cop-out, as a ploy, that kind of thing. It's in that, you know, many of you are probably thinking this is another person. Okay, you're pointing the finger at another person right now. I have to tell you that that is the biggest mistake that you can make. This is you. Not the other person. It's up to you to change your life. It's up to you to step out of this rough patch. It's up to you to learn this lesson. The world card is a lesson. Many of you have a major new beginning waiting for you. Seriously, that's what this last card is, a major new beginning. You have a major new beginning, a completion that will be successful. Okay, a completion of one phase of your life that is pushing you towards a new beginning that will be more successful than this one. Okay, you have a new chapter waiting for you as soon as you find the power that you have been denying that is within you. You have to. You have to. You have to take those steps. Nobody's going to take it for you. Nobody. Nobody. If you want to continue to hurt forever, then that's where you'll be. Okay, so anyway, there is some something going on behind the scenes that is asking you to face your fears, face your fears. You, you have completed one phase of your life. You're about to. You need to. It's time to complete this phase, this rough, rough phase that you've been in, whoever this is for. There's been a rough patch. It's been a long time. And it's time for it to be over. It's time for you to have success. But the fact of the matter is, is you're not going to have success until you find those resources within you to make, to take action, to make a move, to find self-respect, to find self-love, and to let yourself grow into this new person that you are about to come, become, um, you need to look at this from a new perspective. Stop being angry. Stop being bitter and re resentful and stop pointing the finger at somebody else. All that's doing is holding you back. The truth is, is that it's within you. It's you. You. The only person that can change is you. Don't look for somebody else to change. You change. You have to be willing to change. So anyway, I feel as though this is a day of... Um,
the truth coming out. I mean, getting caught. Getting caught. You are getting caught. I'm catching you right now. Okay, I'm catching you right now. It's not the other person. It's you. It's you. If you want something to work out, if you want change in your life, if you want to get through this rough patch, you have to find the resources within you to prevail, to start that new chapter, to find the security that's lacking. You have to find the resources. You're only deceiving yourself, and that's absolutely the truth. By pointing the finger at another person and waiting for them to change or waiting for them to do something, you are pointing the finger at them wrongly. It's all up to you. Okay? There's no new opportunity that leads to security and stability if you don't own up to it. Anyhow, there's a major new beginning here waiting, waiting for you. But you have to complete this cycle that you're in, this rough cycle that you're in, by taking action, by loving yourself enough to step over this finish line. And you step over the finish line by letting go. Letting go of the anger and the resentment and owning, owning your life. You own it, not the person you're pointing at. get an advice card here somebody has a new beginning waiting for them and they're stalling they are they're stalling and it's sad it really is they're stalling because they they like this pity party that they're living in they may not like the pity party but they're staying in it they're not finding the the resources to, to take action they're not willing to shed it it's comfortable comfortable and that's why we're ha we are having this rough patch that's what these hidden forces are all this rough bullshit that you're going through is happening so that you will grow and the longer you resist it the longer you're gonna hurt support people come into your life for many different reasons some you learn from and then they move on. While others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. Ask for support. But remember that you are the change within you. You have to make the step. You have to decide that this is what you want. You can't let everybody take care of you. You have to take care of you. And I'm sorry if you don't like my tone. You have to take care of you. Because there's nobody that is going to take care of you like you do. A child's love. The love between a parent and a child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us and from the first cries they establish themselves as the biggest part of our hearts, a child's love. At some point, it's time to grow up. And some people don't really grow up until their old age. I'm sorry. It's all about maturity. If you want this rough patch in your life to end, you have to be willing to take action, 
to change your ways. You have to want it and you have to own it. And I just caught you. Talk to you later.